acquire, acquire. To acquire something is to gain possession of it. Tina acquired a strange package yesterday. Tina acquired a strange package yesterday. Awkward. Awkward. If something is awkward, it is embarrassing and uncomfortable. After dropping his coffee cup, Robbie felt awkward. After dropping his coffee cup, Robbie felt awkward. Caretaker. Caretaker. A caretaker is a person who takes care of very young, old, or sick people. My grandmother's caretaker helps her get around the house. My grandmother's caretaker helps her get around the house. Deceive. Deceive. To deceive someone is to make them believe something that is not true. He tried to deceive his friends as they were playing a game. He tried to deceive his friends as they were playing a game. Discourage. Discourage. To discourage someone is to make them feel less excited about something. Mr. Perry discouraged the students from quitting school. Mr. Perry discouraged the students from quitting school. Fake. Fake. If something is fake, it is made to look real in order to trick people. The model was wearing fake eyelashes. The model was wearing fake eyelashes. Hatred. Hatred. Hatred is a strong feeling of not liking someone or something. I have a hatred for the taste of medicine. I have a hatred for the taste of medicine. Hut. Hut. A hut is a house made of wood, grass, or mud that has only one or two rooms. We all went into the hut to sleep. We all went into the hut to sleep. Inferior. Inferior. If something is inferior, it is not as good as something else. Cars built a hundred years ago are inferior to ones built today. Cars built a hundred years ago are inferior to ones built today. Lodge. Lodge. A lodge is a house in the mountains used by people who hunt or fish. During our ski trip, we stayed at a lodge. During our ski trip, we stayed at a lodge. Neglect. Neglect. 
To neglect someone or something is to not take care of it properly. William neglected his room, so it is a complete mess. William neglected his room, so it is a complete mess. Newcomer. Newcomer. A newcomer is a person who has recently arrived at a place or a group. The students happily welcome the newcomer to the school. The students happily welcome the newcomer to the school. Offense. Offense. An offense is behavior that is wrong or breaks a law. Stealing a car is a very serious offense. Stealing a car is a very serious offense. Overlook. Overlook. To overlook something is to not notice it or to not realize that it is important. Brenda overlooked the last step and had a bad fall. Brenda overlooked the last step and had a bad fall. Repay. Repay. To repay is to pay back or to reward someone or something. She repaid her friend for all of his hard work with a small gift. She repaid her friend for all of his hard work with a small gift. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. If something is ridiculous, it is silly or strange. Steve looked ridiculous with those huge blue sunglasses. Steve looked ridiculous with those huge blue sunglasses. Satisfactory. Satisfactory. If something is satisfactory, it is good enough. Mina often received satisfactory grades since she studied so hard. Mina often received satisfactory grades since she studied so hard. Shepherd. Shepherd. A shepherd is a person who protects and cares for sheep. The shepherd moved the sheep to another field. The shepherd moved the sheep to another field. Venture. Venture. To venture is to go to a place that may be dangerous. Even though it was dangerous, they ventured up the mountain. Even though it was dangerous, they ventured up the mountain. Wheat. Wheat. Wheat is a plant which makes grain. Wheat grain is used to make bread. The field of golden wheat was ready to be harvested. The field of golden wheat was ready to be harvested.
The Shepherd and the Wild Sheep Once there was a shepherd. Every night he counted and gathered his sheep. He was sure never to overlook any of them. One night, he saw some wild sheep had joined his herd. He hoped to acquire the newcomers. It snowed that night. In the morning, the shepherd couldn't take his sheep out of his lodge. Instead, he had to feed them inside. He gave a small amount of wheat to his own sheep, but he gave more of the food to the wild sheep. He thought the extra wheat would discourage them from leaving. It snowed for several days. During that time, the shepherd's sheep ate very little. The wild sheep, however, ate very well. At last, the snow melted and they ventured outdoors. As soon as he opened the door of his hut, the wild sheep started to run away. Wait, this is how you repay me? After I treated you so kindly, why do you run away? The shepherd asked. His voice was full of hatred. The wild sheep stopped and turned toward the shepherd. We're leaving because you fed us better than your own sheep, one of the wild sheep replied. You tried to deceive us with your ridiculous plan. Yesterday you treated us kindly, but tomorrow you might be different. If more wild sheep joined your herd, you would treat us as inferior sheep. As the wild sheep ran away, the shepherd understood his offense. He knew this awkward situation was his own fault. He had not been a satisfactory caretaker. He was a fake friend to the wild sheep. Because of this, he had neglected his own herd.